And we welcome you back to Finnerty Field here on the campus of Pace University. It's the third and final game of day one of the 2018 East Regional. It'll feature two Northeast 10 Conference opponents, longtime rivals, the fourth seed in Penman of Southern Hampshire University against the fifth seed Ravens of Frank. Oh, one is coming here to the left-handed hitting backstop. That one's hit the opposite way into left field. Left field to Roberto going back. This ball's carrying well. This ball's on the track, and it's gone! Opposite field tater for Dakota Mulcahy. That's his eighth home run of the season. Carrying well out to left, and Mulcahy puts the penman on the board first. It's folks that think that they have a chance to make a run at this thing. Goldstein with a two-out hit. They'll send Pangalo around. Here comes the throw from Chase. It's up the line. He'll dive in safely. Goldstein will slide into second. It's 3-0 Penman. 2-1. That pitch grounded hard. Shortstop Pangalo slides to his left. He'll throw across the diamond. And that will do it. The Penman win by a final score of 7-2. You see the scene on the mound. Jake Walkinshaw goes the distance. And the Penman Advance with a 7 to 2 with the Penman once again. Pitch to Mulcahy. That's well hit into right field. Keiko going back. This has got a shot. It's off the wall. One run is in. Rounding third. Heading for home is Potter. He will score. It's a two run double for the freshman catcher, Dakota Mulcahy. And Southern Hampshire leads it 3 to 1. Base hit there by Tavares. Drives in one. Coming around third is Henry. The throw is going to be not in time. Two run single for Idelson Tavares. Line down the third base. Great play by Blandini. Comes up. They'll throw on the first. No way. Oh, what a play there. Need six. Did not get it. Powers fired up on the mound. Penman will celebrate an impressive 7 1 win. First Southern Hampshire, the four seed, continues to impress. Now he deals that one in the dirt. Could be a tough play here. If it falls, it's trouble. And it was touched in fair play. Two runs already across. Coming around third is Goldstein. No, he's going to be held up right there. That is a ribby double. Tom Blandini gives the Penman two run lead. For the Penman. Here in the fourth, their first pitch swing is Henry. This is well struck. Right fielder's on his horse, and that's over his head. And it's gone! Sam Henry, first home run of the year. He goes yard. Just like that, it's 3 nothing. I mean, that is a big, big blow for Southern New Hampshire. Jack, he got a call strike three. Tobin, celebratory, with good reason. Pitching coach out to join him. And the Penman get out of the spot. Jason coming in. Offs it into right center field. Long run from the center fielder. Morgan's on his horse. Hits off the wall. It's a, a double there. They'll skip. The ground rule dump, which is actually probably a break there for the Spartans. There's an RBI double for Pangala. Makes it now 4-1. to one. Oh, 2 once again to Blandini. Popped up. Very shallow center field. This is not going to be deep enough. Center fielder Morgan coming on. This could be trouble. It'll fall. Scoots away from him. Penn will go station to station. And about uh, tonight at 7 o'clock. That ball popped up in the right. This should do it as Potter camps under it, backs up, makes the catch. Southern New Hampshire moving on to Championship Ladies Monday. A big ball offensive ball. outpouring ball. against St. Thomas Aquinas. Well, it's Monday in the East Region, and that means one thing we will crown the East Regional Champion, the fourth seeded pennant of Southern New Hampshire against the second seeded Spartans of St. Thomas Aquinas. Oscatello allows the run, not his fault. Five strikeouts. First pitch and lined into right field. Extra base is coming for Blandini. Ding Kong will dig it out around the corner. And stuck in the screen. They will hold Blandini up at second. You see Ding Kong's strong arm out there as he sort of swung it into the infield. Blandini with a one out double. 2 1. Hit well into left field. Left fielder going back. Adorno's on his horse, still running backwards. That ball is gone! Bonapani goes yard, a two run shot. He's sprinting around the bases. Penman lead, 3 0. That's a fastball that's left up in the zone. A one. Gets away. They're going down a second to Strelja. The throw from Mulcahy is in time. What a play by the freshman. Yeah. It's a 1 3 3 ERA. Remarkable. I mean, they're only allowing a hit every two innings. They've walked six guys and struck out 20 and doing the same here today. That one's in there for strike three. You got to have that bounce. That's why in the regular season, you don't just toss away those Tuesday or Wednesday starts. Doesn't seem trying to find his way out of the spot. 1 0 is lined down to left field. Could be trouble if it stays fair. Fair ball! It bounces off the wall. It's a ground rule double. Battle plate two. Five and six, nothing now. Penman Sullivan coming up big with his second double of the day. Pitch.
does. Throws a by and struck out the side. One, two, coming. Pitch. Swung on and missed. McDonald throws his glove in the air, and the Penmen defeat the Spartans. The final score, 6 nothing. They go back to carry for the first time since 2012. Your East Regional Champions, the Southern New Hampshire University.